Fisker owners may have to pay for recalls out of pocket after all. Hey, Eve lovers. Welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for electric vehicles. If you're as excited about EVs as we are, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and drop a comment below. And if you want to help us bring even more amazing content, consider giving us a super thanks. The failed EV startup flip-flopped again on whether customers will need to foot the bill for recall repairs. Now it says they will. Fisker now says owners are on the hook for recall-related labor costs. The startup, which is working through a Chapter 11 bankruptcy, says it can pay for parts, but not the labor to install them. Fisker has now reversed course twice regarding who will pay for recall-related fixes. Fisker Ocean owners may have to foot the bill for recall-related repairs after all. On Monday, the failed EV startup updated an FAQ page about the recalls to specify that customers will be on the hook for the labor costs associated with those fixes. The company says it's working on pulling together the money to take care of labor costs, on top of the free parts it's providing, but that that isn't a sure thing. Here's what the section titled, Will I be charged for the recall-related inspections or repairs? Now reads, emphasis hours. For the software updates delivered over the air, there will be no cost to you as the owner of the vehicle. These updates are part of our commitment to ensuring the ongoing safety and performance of your Fisker Ocean. For the two recalls that require physical inspection and repair related to the outer door handles and electric water pumps, Fisker will provide the necessary parts and diagnostic tools at no cost to you. But as of now, the customer will be responsible for the labor costs incurred to complete the repairs. Through the bankruptcy process, Fisker was able to fund the purchase of service parts, while funding for labor costs is not currently available. It was a priority to make service parts available to avoid delaying these two safety recalls. Fisker is diligently working to secure funding for these labor costs and will update you as and when appropriate. Monday's revision marks the second time Fisker has reversed course on whether its customers will need to pay out of pocket for these recall-related fixes. When it was initially published earlier this month, the FAQ page stated basically what it says now, that parts would be free but labor wouldn't be covered. Following media reports and outrage from customers, Fisker swiftly backtracked. It updated the page to say, Regarding the recalls that require physical inspections and potential repairs, Fisker will provide the necessary parts, including the labor, at no cost to you. A week later, that's no longer the case. In a statement to Inside EVs on Wednesday, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration said that it is aware of Fisker's statement and is working to ensure vehicle owners receive recall remedies without charge, as required by federal law. Fisker did not respond to a request for comment. We'll update this story when we hear back. Fisker, the second EV startup started by car designer Henrik Fisker, launched the Ocean SUV in the summer of 2023 as its debut model. The company struggled with sales, service, and a buggy car. It has issued five recalls, including two that may require new hardware to be installed. One concerns the door handles, while the other is for faulty water pump that can result in a loss of drive power if it breaks. The company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in June. Shortly thereafter, it struck a deal to sell most of its remaining inventory to a firm that leases cars to ride-hailing drivers in New York. It recently reached an agreement to liquidate its assets and pay off its creditors, which may be approved next month. That's it for today's episode of EVpedia. If you had fun, subscribe, like, and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to give us a super thanks to support our channel. Thanks for watching and stay charged. Until next time, keep it electric.